Good evening. Thank you, Governor, for your leadership. Uh, you've been right here with us the entire time. So uh, I certainly appreciate that. And I know the men and women of the Florida Division of Emergency Management do as well. Florida, uh, Florida Division of Emergency Management remains in constant contact with all 67 counties. Um, I have called about a dozen of those individuals in the highest impact area today. Um, we currently have more than uh, 700 active missions, as the uh, governor has already mentioned. This includes coordination of resources such, of, such as trucks of food, water, generator, generators, pumps, and most importantly, staff to staff shelters. We're mobilizing and deploying over 100,000 tarps to protect homes from storm impacts after the disaster. Five Florida urban search and rescue teams are activated and will be prepared to deploy to impacted areas around uh, the state as response and recovery efforts begin. We have federal USAR teams from Texas, Virginia, Indiana here to help us as well. We also have another uh, team from Ohio that is currently mobilizing. We have state agencies, or I'm sorry, state uh, emergency management agencies from around the country that have mobilized. We have about a dozen stretching all the way from Montana and Colorado all the way to the uh, East Coast that have come in to assist us. We're, co we're currently coordinating the provision of meals for first responders staged in Orange County. If residents have any questions about resources for Hurricane Ian, I urge them to reach out to their local emergency management agency or public safety office. If they cannot find the information there, they can go to our website at floridadisaster.org slash plan prepare. At this point in time, I implore, I urge everyone that is in an evacuation zone that has been asked to evacuate the time is now. You must evacuate now. There will be a point in time where you will not be safe to travel the roads. The time to evacuate is now. Get on the road. I want to further emphasize this, and many of you know that I was a local emergency manager before I came here. There will come a point in time when local public safety officials will not be able to respond to your help, your cry for help. They will not be able to do it. And you may be left to fend for yourself. Again, the time to evacuate is now.